Um, I just have a question kind of about ideal clients sure. and then the difference between them and the niche. Um, I, I guess more about when you're creating this ideal client and thinking about the car she drives and the TV show she watches or whatever. Um, I know that you can talk to people. I don't really have any ideal clients in that I know right now. Um, but can I just create this person that I really want to work with or like that really resonates with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You mean like, like totally make her up out of thin air? Yeah. I mean, have the, the problems and everything be the type of thing that I've either lived through or that the type of person I want to help. But as far as TV shows, those kinds of things that I think that type of personality would like. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because let's be, that's a great question, Beth. And let's be, let's be real here. This ideal client avatar is just that it's an avatar. It doesn't really exist. And so a lot of times our ideal client is a former version of ourselves. So like my avatars, both of them, one's married and one is not, but they both love HGTV and they both love shopping at home goods. And, you know, they, they love the Louis bag and, you know, all these different things. So absolutely. Um, once you start working with people and they, and, and you're like, wow, this really is a real person. Then maybe you want to, you know, chat with them and confirm through that market research and get actual data, um, you know, cause you always want to make sure you're up barking up the right tree, but sure. Because you know enough about her, I'm sure, or him or whoever you're looking to work with, you know enough about them that you can surmise that they would like this, but not that. Um, you know, ho and hopefully as you grow your business, like I said, you can get the data to confirm that. Thank so, you. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. I would love to put Jennifer on the spot. You knew I'd do that, right? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't, but okay. <laughs> I love you, Jennifer. If you, if you would be Let me just give some background. I met Jennifer. Um, Andrea, yeah. Kamura, who many of you know, Bonnie, I think you might know Andrea. Um, she was in coaching years ago. She um, is the president of a women's networking group in North Carolina. And she and I are friends, love, her to love, love, love her. And she invited me to speak at their 30th anniversary event. And that's when I met Jennifer. And I offered the ladies a free consult as my way of saying thank you for allowing me the opportunity to get in front of them. And Jennifer came to me, she just blew my mind, right? Like, like she's got, okay. really, she's got this business. She's working for other people and she's not I making- I want to do your outsourcing. Yeah, I want to do all that stuff y'all don't want to do. That's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead, Jennifer. You, you explain kind of, I, that, just briefly, that conversation and what happened since then. So, um, so I got on the phone with Judy. I've been tossing this idea around probably for about a year and a half now. Um, I could never get, I always ran into the ideal client, as Judy said, you know, I'd read it and I'm like, you know, I don't want everybody. I don't want to work with everybody who breathes. I, you know, I've, I've been in enough work situations and work jobs that sometimes that money is not worth it. Um, but I couldn't narrow down like who and TV shows or any idea. And just the conversation with Judy, I don't know what she said. I don't know what it was, but she was, I think it was more of the confidence to do where you're like, you got it. You're going to do it. You're going to figure it out. And I didn't figure it out until right before my deadline, but you know, God works the way God wants to work. Sometimes not the way you want him to work. Um, and I had it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this, this might actually be possible. This might be doable. So. Yeah. And I guided Jennifer. I just was asking her questions. I'm like, wait, yeah. how much are you getting paid for this? And do you realize your skill set is like incredible and you need to, you know, create it now. Yeah. So, and so when you say your deadline, what did I, I mean, this, I, I, Jennifer has paid me zero, but this is what I do ladies. So if this is what I give for free, imagine what I do inside the Academy. So Jennifer, what, what did I, what did I challenge well, you to do? Well, you just said you were like, check back in with me at, in the middle of the month, just work on this one little thing and we'll just do a quick follow-up. And I was like, all right, middle of the month, October 15th. And I sat there for probably, you know, all this, like just staring at a piece of paper and I'm like, all right, clearly I can't do it. Um, clearly if this is what I need to do, like, God, you've got to kind of tell me, like it, it, it truly was one of those things, God, you got to tell me because, you know, I've been stuck on this forever. Um, and the night before my deadline, 
that I decided so I could email you, Judy, it just poured out. It just poured out pages upon pages upon pages. Like I've got pages and pages and pages of notes. Wow. From from that 15, maybe 20 minute phone call you and I had. Isn't that awesome? That's God. That's the movement of, the, of it our wonderful. good and gracious God. So congratulations, Jennifer. We're going to have another follow-up call. And I hope yeah. to see you inside the Academy, sister, because if that's what we do before, whoo. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am. It's something I'm, I'm seriously praying about right now. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Congrats. You did the work. That's what I'm saying. Thanks. You did the work. Absolutely. Um, I have time for one more question or comment. Anybody? Gosh, you ladies are just so amazing. Like I'm looking like Marilyn, I know, I feel like I know you, even though, you know what I'm saying? It's just so good. And Sylvia, I've seen you before and Tamara and Rachella, I don't see you, but I know you and Julie, I mean, and, and of course Jeanette um, and, and, and Bonnie is new and Beth is newer. And, but it's, it's just so awesome. This is the good, I hate technology, but, but what I love is how it brings us all together. I'm working with a client in Australia. I'm working with a client in South Africa. That would not be possible, but for the internet. So because we serve a good and big God who can do the impossible, we need to really just start, again, going all in on who he made us to be and believing that it's possible. Not by our strength, but by what he gifted us and by his power. Oh, hallelujah, God, you're so good. Thank you, Jesus. All right, any last thoughts before we say toodaloo for the day? Well, at least not for the day. I'll see you back at four, I hope. But all right. All right, ladies, I will leave you. I'm going to go grab some lunch. See you back here at 4 Eastern. Mwah. Love you. Have a beautiful afternoon.